dear viewers, I'm Sabrina, Managing Editor at Financial IT, and today we have a special guest, Angeliano from Muse Finance. And for a start, can you please tell us more about yourself and your company's mission? Sure, great. My name is Anne Giuliano. I am the CEO of Muse Finance based here in the UK. I have uh, over 20 years experience in the financial markets uh, and launched my first business back in 2014 uh, and found that cash management and uh, cash flow insight was a challenge, even despite my background in finance. Um, and that's how uh, I came up with the idea of launching Muse. Our mission is to give uh, financial control to small business owners globally. Uh, so we do this by providing cash flow insight for the next 30, 60, and 90 days, um, and then access to capital within 24 hours. Indeed, it is so fascinating to see how more and more fintechs are growing and expanding, and especially in a post-pandemic world. Can you explain what are the main challenges and difficulties of small and medium enterprises and how Muse Finance is helping them to overcome these? Yes, um, definitely uh, making it through the pandemic for a number of reasons was a huge challenge for small businesses here in the UK. Uh, there were uh, a number of government programs that were put together to help during that pandemic period, which was fantastic, uh, but that's over. Um, and so now companies are being asked to uh, repay the loans that they've had, but the environment that uh, the government was expecting us to be in is very different um, uh, post-pandemic than I think anyone could have uh, uh, could have imagine, imagined the cost of living uh, has gone up substantially, taxes have gone up substantially. And so all these pressures uh, for business owners is very, it, it is exasperated at a time that's very critical for business owners because uh, we are in a recovery mode. We do need that growth um, and business owners do need that growth to be able to pay back uh, the loan positions or the debt. Um, when you think about it, in order to pay that back, you actually have to make more than you did before. And we're in a very kind of challenged environment. I think that stats recently shown that the market's actually receding, not growing here in the UK, which is just causing, to, causing a lot more problems for, for business owners. Uh, what we're doing as a finance provider to business owners, we provide a, a financial product where it's not uh, adding an additional burden. It's selling an asset and that asset is an invoice. So once you performed a service uh, for your client, what you can do is get an 80% uh, or more cash advancement on that invoice and we give you that capital right away as a way just to plug that cash flow cash flow gap without having to without having to have the the growth that you might not feel comfortable with at the moment Indeed. Um, we've been following you and reading news that Muse Finance is raising funds. Can you explain how these investments helped your business grow? Yes. So we've been uh, growing since uh, January of 2021. Uh, month over month, we've uh, grown in not just revenues, but in, in our client base, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's a really exciting time for, for the company. Uh, what we've been able to do is to use the latest technology to be able to integrate the accounting package um, and the bank account of our clients so that we can give them that cash flow insight as well as the access to capital. Um, however, our work has just begun. Um, we've been able to prove very clearly there's a market, there's a huge need. Um, there's right now a missing match in the UK of about 56 billion where small businesses are looking for funding and not being served. Um, and uh, we're looking for capital to be able to get the word out that we're here, our doors are open, um, and, and we're looking to make a difference in to business owners' lives. Um, so understood um, we discussed the numbers but we missed something very important how is news finance um, platform operating from user's perspective 
Sure. So um, there's two ways or multiple ways that you can work with this, but I think the easiest is once you've uh, provided a service, you've raised an invoice, um, all you have to do is submit it to us through our portal. Um, we'll do uh, verification that the invoice is legitimate, and once that's confirmed, uh, we'll release the funds immediately to you. Um, the other things that we have just recently launched as well, um, uh, beyond just our uh, invoice finance product suite, uh, is uh, supply finance. Um, so now a lot of our clients have uh, really been pushed um, pushed to their boundaries with regards to the time delays to get products into the UK and distributed out to their clients. And so now uh, what we do is we fund those invoices. So really what they'll do is send us uh, their invoice that they need to pay for their suppliers overseas. Um, we have an exclusive uh, relationship with an X FX provider that can help with the FX. Um, and then we'll provide the cash to buy those goods and bring them here into the UK. Um, beyond just the finance, uh, we also love helping our clients in a multitude of different ways. And I think one of the big things when I moved from uh, banking in a very service oriented environment um, and institutional was how um, small businesses just aren't treated the same or aren't treated as well. Um, and that's, I guess, a little bit of the addition that we do that really makes us unique from other players within the market. Um, we provide um, services to help our clients grow. Uh, so we've done a lot of matching where we put our clients actually in touch with each other, um, where one might actually be purchasing uh, supplies from the other, um, or we'll help with introductions um, into uh, and into other businesses to help grow the network. Um, one of the great things about uh, Muse Finance is that everyone that works there really cares about business owners and helping them succeed. Um, and we have a fantastic network. Um, so most likely if there's an introduction you need, we can figure it out and we'll, we'll help our clients to get that. Yeah, and it's so great to see how fintech platforms are becoming more and more accessible to simple users. And you are a female entrepreneur at top of it. And uh, are there any challenges and obstacles women in entrepreneurship world are facing? Uh, although it is 21st century and women are encouraged to run their own startup and they are experiencing less pressure, but still, are there any challenges? I would say when I look back on kind of my career and my progression, I've had jumps in my career as uh, as I've had advocates and mentors that have really helped me get to that next level, A, by um, opening uh, up the opportunities, but also pushing uh, pushing for those opportunities so that, so that I could be in a position to be successful. Um, and I've noticed that with entrepreneurship, it's very much the same. You need to find a really good advocate that is going to help push your agenda for you um, and in addition to you, because as, an, as, as one person, you can only do so much. You need kind of a group of cheerleaders around you helping to push that proposal or that proposition. Um, and the, the challenge there is really aligning yourself with the right advocate. So when you're in a large corporation, it's it's pretty clear who has the power, who can help you, and 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 knowing that that advocate is is going to take you on on a part of your journey. Um, isn't as difficult as when you're in an entrepreneur. The, the one challenge with entrepreneurs is that you, you might not know the individual or you've just been introduced to them. I mean, I would say there, it's really important despite how tempting it is, um, it's really important to uh, do your background checks, do reference checks, speak to other founders and make sure you're aligning with the right type of capital um, that sees your vision and that really wants to, 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 to help get you um, to where you think that the business can go. Um, at the end of the day, I guess it's a challenge everyone ex experiences, but 
Um, it's easy always to say, yes, I'll take the money and go, but, but you do have to do your checks. So I'd say that's that's probably one of the one of the challenges. It's the most important. That's still very inspiring. And last but not least, what is next for Muse Finance? What are your future plans for the company? Uh, we're just in an incredible position at the moment. Um, the uh, amount of acceleration that we're going through is phenomenal. So we'll be looking to raise funds in the next few months uh, from some really strong institutional capital providers. Um, we've already been approached by, by quite a number of interested investors um, for that capital raise, um, which is exciting. Uh, and the, the ideal is to be able to expand into US uh, and Europe. Um, so very much our, our mission's always been a global one. Um, business owners everywhere need uh, the help and support um, that we can give them. So really excited to, to be on the journey to do that. That's intriguing. And uh, we wish you the best of luck and prosperity. Thank you. And uh, we look forward to work with you more in the future. Thank you for joining this interview. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.